I was thinking. I posted a picture of nerds slash hipsters on Reddit the other day, and now I'm filming myself in black and white prancing around in Chino, so I guess that's one point in each box for me, and quite possibly another few in boxes labelled miscellaneous twat. But is there really any difference between a nerd, a geek, or a hipster, or are they synonyms for the same thing? Well, at the risk of sounding like somebody who measures people's brains before pointing to one of two doors for a living, I've tried to come up with a brief summary of them. So I'm sure we're all familiar with nerds, but it's important we differentiate them from geeks. Jesus Christ, I think I'm going cross-eyed. So I think anyone can be a geek. To me, it's just a term for someone who knows a lot about something they enjoy. You can be a history geek or a NASCAR geek, it's just expertise in something you're probably passionate about. A nerd, again this is just my opinion, please don't send me any nail bombs from your mum's basement or if you do insist, be sure to include a self-addressed envelope, are people who are single-minded experts in something to the detriment of everything else, most often basic social skills, like not talking to someone you just met about the new Asus motherboard. A new Asus motherboard you say? The nerd's interest is probably very technical and maybe academic and probably coincides with their actual profession. Essentially geeks are people who talk about the many artistic facets of Sonic the Hedgehog and nerds are people who spend their days off thinking about how to maximise efficiency and their company's new satellite's orbital patterns. Now the hipster, what the fuck is that? I guess it kind of used to mean beatnik, but they're totally different now. Gone are the days when you could give somebody LSD-filled lemonade and call it a social experiment, not without somebody from TMZ filming it. The new hipster is incredibly hard to define, like what is torture and what is government-sanctioned boyish antics, and no doubt you have a different definition, but if I was to paint a visual picture for you, I would say he or she or shim is a middle-class or somewhat moneyed person who wears tight jeans, second-hand clothes that have been painstakingly selected from a charity shop, all the hobos are chased away from, and either glasses, a wristwatch, or another kooky accessory that did its first rounds during the Carter administration. The men also have very good hair or no hair, there is no in-between. Because although I'm describing the superficialities, it's the superficialities which, as for a Kardashian or an Embalmer, are perhaps most important. Because aside from the way they look and the motives they seem to share, like using impractical bicycles or going gluten-free, there's not much more to identifying a hipster other than their overarching and repugnantly gloatful knowledge of something the rest of the world could not give two short fucks about. The whole point seems to become the world's eminent expert in something untouched by academics or amateurs alike, a very specific type of bicycle gear or obscure computer language which the Russians abandoned in 1981 because it was too ugly, or out of business camera lens makers 1963 50mm run that were almost all destroyed because they didn't work. Hipsters, like geeks, have a knowledge of something that probably isn't just not relevant to their own profession but is no good to anyone, like that man I once met who could fit five golf balls into his mouth, although I'm sure he swallowed the last two. And as I see it, that's the main difference. Hipsters have a high degree of knowledge about something that is very specific but probably not very useful and they're much more highly concerned than geeks or nerds about the image they convey. But there's another important difference too. The whole hipster thing is fucking bullshit. I guess that could mean the idea that they exist is untrue, or that the social group itself is toxic, so which do I mean? Well, both. But George, how could it not exist but be toxic at the same time, I hear you say? Shut up. No one admits to being a hipster, that's the point. Hipsters are like the anti-tribalism tribe, they're grown-up emo kids who used to hang around with identical dorks to look different. They're the sort of people who say that it doesn't matter what you wear, everyone should be treated the same, but spent 15 minutes quaffing their hair this morning and four hours on Saturday looking for a pair of boots that look suitably worn in. This has all happened before to every fat society that goes too long without a downturn, big war, disease or famine. Nerds and geeks, you might not like them even if you are one of them, but you can at least say this, they're honest. The hipster is so desperate not to be seen as one of those people but instead a sophisticated connoisseur of whatever bullshit they spout, you can almost see the white blood cells crawling out of their own ears because whatever their host was, it's taken on a different form. Wearing something geeky as a way to assert that you know what irony is makes you maybe a geek but definitely a douchebag. Hipsters' attempts to be fringe might not make them mainstream but it does make them as square as a dad at a college party trying to talk about Pokemon Go while the keys to his Skoda rattle in the pants his beige shirt is tucked into. People sometimes say nerds end up as people's bosses but they don't, they usually end up working in a decent position for someone who's very socially adept and who's natural skill is the movement and soft coercion of people. An anti-nerd who appreciates nerds. But the hipster and the geek languish in the doldrums. The geeks contented by their own fulfilment through their pastimes, live action role playing tournament anyone, and the hipsters because whatever their inheritance and spiel about setting up an alternative art gallery, they're cowards by nature. If you want to look different, you're not different at all. If you want to make a counterculture, you are mainstream. And if you want to be an individual by forming a clique, you're a slug. Also, stay away from smoking jackets, that's my thing. Just a thought. Seriously, stay away from them. Don't make me uncool by making me look like you, you dog.